Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. I'm very excited to check out new updates on this server, and if you're wondering where I am, I am at Clanmara St. Devota Station. Look at this beautiful redesign of the station. So I actually don't know what line this is. I'm not sure if it's new, but look at this calligraphy. It really adds to the vibe for the station. And we have these signs saying 5 car, 10 cars. Lily really likes doing that. Oh, WLT line 3, platform 2. I'm just looking at the beautiful architecture you have here. Okay, looks like it's still work in progress up here, I think. And we have... These concrete blocks on the ground to indicate which lines you can interchange to, I think. Really creative and helpful to passengers. We have this line to exchange place. And I really like how you can see through the middle like this. Kind of like Icert Estate design. Lily told me that she was working on some announcements for the trains as well but I'm not sure which train to take to hear them. Maybe I'll check them out another time. So for this episode, I would want to check out the updated airport, see what's going on there, see what Isaac has made. And also, I've been hearing some suggestions from other players to build more things on the server, not like railways or modes of transportation, but more like buildings and apartments and shopping centers, destinations for visitors to go to. I thought that was a really great idea and today I'm going to try to do some of that. I know it's not really related to airplanes, but it's a quality improvement to the server as a whole. Wow, look at this exchange PlayStation. This has also been recently renovated, I think with the calligraphy. It's white here, which matches this dark colored wall really well. And I think we have a ferry connection here called the Exchange Pier. Where does the boat go? Badgerstown. Interesting. Wow, this is all new as well. Should we take the boat there just to take a look? <laughs> I think that would be fun. I didn't pay for the train actually, but I'll pay for the boat. Wow, this is a beautiful jungle that we're going through. Oh, I also want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Those of you who celebrate or observe Lunar New Year, Happy New Year and hope you have good health and enjoy this new year. We're passing through this village. Looks like it's in a savanna-ish biome. Are we gonna stop here? Yeah. Nice. This is like a little shuttle route to this village. One dollar. Nice. Very reasonable. And a nice and quick ferry ride. Okay. So... Looking back at the system map, I'm not really sure... Wow, there's just been so many changes every time when I come on the server. That's crazy. So it looks like this Pengaloo line has been extended. So it started from Snowfall Mountain last time and it went to Kowloon. But it looks like there's been a few more stations added to it. Actually, maybe Concrete Cube, the Concrete Cube extension already existed. But the... What is this? Airport Express local train. This used to be the Snowland Express, but I think it got renamed or recolored and renamed. And what is this purple line? AT Regional. I have not seen this before. This is definitely new with this station right here. I can't even pronounce that. And this one as well. And I do think the orange Arch High Speed Light Railway was here already. 
Uh, but I don't think I've been there yet either. And what is this line? The Wanton line has been extended from here to Jacaranda Hill, I think, connecting to the Hanakoshi line. I don't know if I have time to ride all of this. Oh, and Singun line has also been extended to Ash Shore and Station 6. I think it's still work in progress. But that's all very exciting development. Unfortunately, there's not many buildings or destinations to go with it. So I think I'm going to get started with Isard Estate, very close to home, one of the first stations that was built. And this still sort of looks like an icy wasteland without many buildings here. I know there's this village here and the snow cave cable car which cuts into the ground. But other than that, I think this this station deserves more love with the amount of foot traffic that comes through all the time. So this is a sort of flat area. I think I'll start right about here. So to create an to create a housing estate, I think I'm going to first go for some Hong Kong styled things. So I'm going to pick out my block palette. Okay, so I've got some blocks in my inventory and the key here is to build sort of like a, an outline that we can stack later on. So let me go ahead and build the bottom first, which is usually quite open. Oh wait, I made some progress on this part. This is like one corner of the apartment building. Now what I'm going to do is to copy and rotate this just like that. Now it's on all sides and now I can finish stacking it. This part should be pretty easy. I think I stacked 30. So there should be about 31 floors here. Yeah. There we go. This is an apartment building. I think I need to fix up the snow a little bit. Actually, let me undo that. Undo the stacking and I should probably add like a floor down here so that people can actually stand on something. And then some glowstone as well so that there's light inside the building. All right, I've added these glowstone bits and the floor for each floor. Although you can't really tell because it's already daytime. So stack, let's do 29 so that there's 30 floors in total. There we go. Our first apartment building. If you're wondering what this ancient debris thing is here, it's supposed to look like an aircon. The ones that you have by the window. All right. This is a 30 floor apartment building. Oh, I was going to fix up some of the snow at the bottom just in case. Yeah, like this part needs a bit more snow. There we go. And here as well. Cool. Actually, I think it will be better if we patched up this side as well. Something like that. So then it doesn't look like the pole doesn't go down all the way. It's just like a Minecraft design technique where you would want to fill up the edges so that it doesn't look like the pillar is floating. Or like not extended downwards. Okay. So, let me grab my dashboard. Oh, this is Snow Cave Hot Springs, actually. Oh no, I don't want to resize that. I want to resize Isert Estate to cover the building so that we get the station color on there. But I don't want to connect that. Oh. Uh oh. 
That's gonna cover the roller coaster. So we press F3A, that reloads the chunks. And now we have this beautiful blue color. All right, so that's one building done. I wanna copy a few of these and maybe flatten out the terrain as a result. Cause I don't want just one building here. I want like a whole estate. That's what I cert estate means. Not I cert single apartment building. So these types of buildings, like this specific architecture, is quite common in Hong Kong. And at first glance, they all look the same. But in reality, they all have their own unique architecture. And they're easy to build in Minecraft. That's why I enjoy making them. Okay, so I've pasted in some buildings. There's four total now. And I've also taken the time to flatten out this area, fill it in with grass blocks, and to smooth out the terrain a little bit. Oof, that took quite a, quite some time. Now finally, I'm gonna use the snow command. This is a world edit command, and it's gonna add some snow on the ground as if it just recently snowed. It takes in one parameter, which is the radius. I didn't want to do it too high in case I mess up something. So I'm just gonna do, maybe 50 would be okay. So it simulates snowfall and fills in the blocks around them with snow, just like that. Unfortunately, I don't think it can do these smooth snow layers, so we'll just have to stick with the whole block, just like thin layer of snow. But this looks much better. We might have to, hmm, I don't know. We might have to not use station colored blocks just because there's no space for that, I think. And it'll overlap with this snow cave hot springs. Unless I made these buildings all yellow as well. Hmm. What other block is light blue like that? I could use like concrete or I could use ice itself, but I don't think that would look very good. I do like the station colored look. Hmm. Let's copy this color and let's just do this. Untitled station. All right. Good enough. And then we press F3 and A. That reloads all the chunks. And they're all blue now. Perfect. All right. And it's nighttime as well, so now we can see the effect of the glowstone. There's a bit of some lighting, there's a bit of a lighting glitch on the side here. Hmm. One way that I use, or one method that I use to fix lighting glitches is to replace zero with glowstone. So this whole thing would be filled with glowstone like that, and then just undo it. And that should recalculate all the light levels. And yeah, there we go. All right, first housing estate, well, I wouldn't say totally complete, but that's good enough for here. So before I build more buildings, I actually wanted to show you some updates at the airport because I've seen some screenshots on Discord. 
but I'm not sure if they're actually in here. So I guess we'll find out. Okay, looks like there's nothing here so far. That's okay. Alright, to make my life easier, I am at McFlurry Station and I've downloaded a Grand Hotel schematic from the internet. I've imported in it into the server and I'm gonna paste it like in front of this station entrance. Alright. Wow, that actually worked and the lag wasn't too bad. So let me check one more time that this is exactly centered down the middle. Yes, it is. Look at that, Grand Hotel. And I have checked the license of this schematic and it doesn't look like that I need to do anything special if including it in a video like this. So I should be okay. Let me regen this part so that it looks a bit better with the terrain. After quite a lot of world editing, I think this looks more natural now. Like this blends in with the terrain a little better. Although I did see, yeah, this part, this part can be improved. So I, I binded the smooth wand to this stone hoe right here so that when I right click stuff, it will smoothen the terrain for me. All right, I think this section looks better and the station exit comes out right here. Cool. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I can do here. I've been moving apartments recently, so I've been quite busy with coding or busy with moving. So I haven't had much time to write code for the mod or record videos and play Minecraft and stuff like that. So this video might actually be shorter this time. Hope you all don't mind. Maybe I'll go check out this AT regional if it's running. So there's a train in 16 seconds. I think this is it. This is that train. And we're going. I wonder what happened to those tunnels. Are they abandoned? Couldn't read that sign there. I think Kettle did a really nice job with the tunnels. I think I've said that before, but it's really detailed. There's another train. Ooh, Christmas MLR. <laughs> I think they had some trouble with the signaling though. That's why the trains are like that. I know Kettle spends a lot of time on their bridges, especially one that Kettle has been working on recently. I forgot where it is, but it's very detailed with arches and textured very well with upside down stairs and stuff. All right, this is the first station that we're entering. What does that text say? I want to read that. The longest place name in the world. Oh no, I missed it. I heard the train leave. Okay, I guess we have to fly through here then. Wow. Let's take a look at this. Red metal bridge. And where's the next station? Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Not this bridge exactly, but this building style. Look at both of these bridges. Very detailed. I wonder if this is Kettle's line also. I don't know. Whoa, I have not seen this station before. 
and it looks amazing. What was that train? I saw an express train come by. Oh, very interesting design. Is this a stair block? It's a upside down texture or upside down orientation for the stair block. I thought it was not upside down because of the shadows. This is a really enjoyable line. Well decorated. Great terrain, great views. Yeah, really well done. I don't know if it's still work in progress or not, because some stations are a bit bare. But really good job so far. We're passing through some more bridges. Oh. Couldn't see much there. And here again. Nice. And we're pulling into the station. I think that station was Limestone Quarry. Wow, this is really scenic. Look at that. I cannot read this station either. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the bridge Kettle was talking about. Let me actually get off the train. This this bridge deserves a feature, like a proper look at it. Look at these arches. And the prismarine, the quartz, the bricks, and then the pillars and concrete. It's very detailed, and I think Kettle started on this side. Made some arches. And there's still a really long way to go. <laughs> wow, that's gonna take a long time for sure. I wish you luck on that. Oh, so it looks like this was the last station and the train is heading back that other way now. Let's check out this station building. Okay, there's not much here to it yet. Yeah, that's the train to Pittsford going the other way. Alright! That was the AT Regional. It would be really fun to make a video about this line. Like the mysteries of the Let's Play series. If you haven't seen those videos, please go check it out. There's a new one last week on the WLT... No, not the WLT. <laughs> Wilds Railway Southwest Plains Line. So go check that out if you haven't already. And the Cinderance Line looks like it's been extended. Has it? It's really long now. What else is there? This is the Hanakoshi Line, but I don't think it's ready for visiting yet. So I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm at Kowloon Station. This is... wow. <laughs> I feel like I keep saying the same things about every station. But this looks really cool. Remember how Kowloon Station used to look like without these big arches? It was just some random platforms down on the ground. Welcome to Kowloon. Please check timetables for departures. Nice. I wonder what this Christmas MLR is doing. Oh, you know what? I think that was the AT Metro line. That's why we saw it at BTC also. So maybe this line is using MLR trains. Maybe. Okay, so where am I trying to go? I think this is the Pengaloo line. Yeah, this one goes to Snowfall Mountain and Q Island. Wait, no. Q Island is the shuttle, is it? I think that's the one that I'm trying to ride. No, I'm looking for the train to Denthrope. Oh, I saw a boat there. Okay. Wow, down here also. Yeah, Kowloon Commuter. That's the one I'm trying to ride. So the train's coming soon in about 
10 seconds now. Wow, I'm really impressed by this architecture. Even though it's a uh, simple curve and arches, whoever built this implemented it really well. And uh, I think these are signal poles or something. Really good use of the blocks. And this is using a class 377 with the custom livery. I think this is the Elizabeth line skin. So we've got the display thing as well, the scrolling display. Next station is Hang Hoi, interchange for the Pengalu line. I think this commuter train is supposed to go a long, longer distance, and it's similar to a high-speed rail except that it's slower. So it's meant for longer distance travel as well, not like a metro. Ooh, you see this? <laughs> Hopefully this is still a work in progress. Or maybe they forgot to cut out the piece of grass. Well, by the looks of those tracks right in front, it's probably work in progress. Oh, I saw a train. Yeah. That was the Pengalu line towards Concrete Cube. Or coming from Concrete Cube, I think. There's another train coming the other way. If you all want to see me do something specific on the Let's Play series, for example, build a new line or continue building up an area, please let me know because I, as I said, I've been moving recently. So I've been kind of busy to think about what I'm going to do on this series. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know so that I can Maybe do something people might specifically enjoy. Because a lot of the times I'm just touring around and checking out what people have made. Because every time I come on there has been a lot of updates and a lot of exciting new lines. But if you want to see me build my own or do something else, please let me know. The train is finally speeding up. We were going at like 80 or 40 the whole time didn't feel that fast. But now it's going 160 and we're still in this tunnel. I wonder if the whole commuter section will be underground. Not sure. We're slowing back down now. There is another train there. And I think we're at ground level, no longer underground. Whoa! That is crazy, look at that. I really like the shape of that curve. It's not like super rounded and it's not square either. It's like a the perfect in between. This is not even the last stop and I already want to go outside and check it out. The next train comes in three minutes so I better hurry. Wow. Okay, made it for the train. I think this will be a central station, <laughs> judging from the name. And there's the, there's the other train going the other way. So these middle platforms are probably unclaimed at the moment. But it seems like it's planned for an interchange, which is good, good design. And the next station is Upper Hillside. Okay, we're pulling into the station. Looks like this station is designed with bypass tracks, so I wonder if this commuter line will have a local and express versions. Also, these little azalea leaves on top of the composter, it makes a really, really cute potted plant in Minecraft. Oh, I think I enabled the sitting option. So I can see out the windows better like this. It looks like I'm sitting in the chair and then I shift and I'm standing, sitting, standing. <laughs> but F5 mode should have no difference.
All right, pulling in into another station. I think a lot of these are still work in progress. Like these signs, I guess they're supposed to point to something. And there's slideshow projectors in there as well. This station is... Crowley Downs. Oh, yeah. Those are the slideshow projectors, I think, showing this sign. I think we're approaching the... near the end. I think this is a big interchange. Wow, there's even a road network here too. That's really cool. Look at the dashboard. And then it's connected to Central Square. Oh look, more buildings. Yeah, I really like it when people build more than just railways on the server. That's what I'm trying to do. So this train is going back to Kowloon as the destination says. So I'm gonna get off the train and check it out. Cause whoever made this area spent a lot of time on it. And it looks really, really realistic too. It's like I'm actually coming downtown to an actual city. Okay, let's see where this exit is. Here, I think. Follow the signs. Oh, <laughs> these are interesting platform numbers. Okay, I wonder if I want to go to A or B. Let's just go out here first. I think this connects to the central station, central square station. Yep. Wow. Even though these buildings are empty inside, the exterior still makes it look very realistic. This looks like almost an industrial building or a school. I can't tell what it is. But it's already like much better than the apartment buildings I built earlier in this episode. This is like a modern theme as well. The use of these slabs, smooth blocks, and solid colors is good for making modern style buildings, as well as stained glass too. Central Square Station. Wow. Random stained glass ceilings with the Jobin light lantern. A really good combination. Wow, how come all these station designs are much better than mine? The only thing I've noticed is that the escalators, some of them, the left one goes up and some of them, the right one is going forward. So I get confused because the sides flip so often. Ooh, this is a unique design. I've never really seen this used much. In that we have like stacked walkways and a platform here and an empty space here and more platforms down here with curved LU walls here. Nice. I'm really impressed by this station design. The random blocks are really well used. So is this part the green line or something and then the red line is somewhere else? The red line is here. Green line is down at the bottom level. It would be cool if you made it a cross-platform interchange, but this is already really good. Yeah, really impressed by this design. Okay, up here, we checked out these modern buildings. And then this is the central, the main station where the commuter goes to Kowloon. And then on the other side, we've got some more buildings. Oh, I like this short little one in the middle of these two big ones. Nice. Oh, wow. Look how much detail they put in. Even the back has a random block wall with a gradient as well from wool going up with some andesite and stone. And then the back of this 
<laughs> it's all floating. Okay. Oh, this is a different train. I wonder where this is going to. Or I wonder what line this is. So some of these lines have been connected. And some of these lines are not. There's no display system up here either. Oh, this one goes to St. Anne's, I think. Let me take a look at the system map, because I don't remember. So we're here. We went to Central Square, which has the red and green lines. Bay Station, New Town Harbor. And then it looks like we came from the Kowloon Commuter. There's the Riverside Line to Clamora St. Devota, which is that blue train we saw. And then there's the yellow train Ridgeside Line, I don't think that's open yet, to Sandy Palace. Okay. Wow. Can't believe I haven't been here before. It's so much different than the stuff I built usually. It's, <laughs> it's much better too. <laughs> Let's check out St. Devota, see if there's anything new there. Electro Star Rail, I don't think I've seen that. And then Clamera Express, where does that go? Oh, this part I haven't been to either. So let's... Okay, get on the riverside. Let's get on the riverside. Did we just miss a train? No, we didn't. And then go from there. The train get, kept getting delayed, so finally it's here now. And it looks like all of these are using class 377, which is cool. It makes it more unified, but they also have different liveries, which makes it easy to tell apart which line is which. So I like that feature. Oh, you know what? I've been on this train before. I remember now. I think last time we were touring with Express Rail Fanner and a bunch of us on one of the Let's Play videos and we were riding this line together. Because I saw more than Cave Station. Oh wait, no. Maybe it was in this line. Because that name kind of reminded me of something, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it looks like this line is all the way jammed up here. That's why the trains were late all the time. Oh, there's a branch going that way. So actually, we have in fact been on this line before in one of the Let's Play videos, so my suspicion has been confirmed. This is Meilan Station, and this is the platform that I got off the train from. And if you remember, this is the place where we ended the one of the videos. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna jump back onto the train and keep going to St. Devota, right? Yeah. All right, so we're here and we're back where we started this video. I'm still really impressed by all of this. Like, how have I not seen this part of the server before? Wow. So this is where the train comes to. These are like the commuter trains running 377s. I don't know why Lily always has like one door that's not in use. <laughs> not sure why. And then this escalator goes to concourse. It looks like it's pretty secure down here. Oh, maybe it's just so that you won't cross over to the other side. And this is a custom departure board. This texture and this text is shown by the slideshow mod, I think. Okay, so this is the concourse and judging from the lines on the ground, we can interchange with the Marble Line, Clamor Express, Devoto City Line, and then these are 
the two lines that we saw or two platforms that we saw in the beginning of the video. So let's go through here because I have not been through here before to these connections. We have to take the lift over. Okay, so this is the bottom platforms, looks like. I think Lily meant to put travelators here. But I don't think that's been installed yet. So I found out the Clanmara Express wasn't running, actually. So I came one more floor up to these platforms, 5 and 6. Yep. So this one goes to Misashima, and this one goes to St. Anne's. Let's take whichever one comes first. It's a close tie, I think. 27, 23. So maybe this one. This one goes to Navi's area, I think. Wilds Railway, Altgate and Resort Line, Seimei APM. Oh, let's check that out. We, have, we haven't seen the Seimei APM before. Marble Arch, no exit. Oh, it goes through Victoria Bridge, where we can get the HSR back to spawn. Okay, cool. Oh, that train came also. And this uses a K train. I'm excited for the next update to be released, by the way. Because the next update will allow more customization to custom trains, allowing you to add destination displays anywhere on the train, which is going to be a big deal breaker for people making custom trains, I feel like. Because you can have interior, like, kind of displays. Basically DIY. All right. So we're at Misashima. Wow, it's pretty dark in here. So this lift goes to exit, waiting room, Altgate and Resort, 8 p.m. Cool. <laughs> That's a lot of things on this sign. Okay, Marble Line Platform. That's where we are, and I think we need to go to the concourse. And then this is going to be the the platform where they tell you not to hang out at the waiting room. And I think the APM is this way. To Hangfan Liu and Mei Lam Island. Oh, actually the APM is below us. That was not expected. And I also wonder why ooh, why this APM is outside of the exit area. Oh no. Just missed it. But it's okay. It's a frequent line. And there's both sides to it. So I think we can just pick a side to go on. Ooh, diamond. Okay, so these are the MPL Railway Vision trains. <laughs> I think made by tea powder. They just look funny. Because <laughs> these are French trains, but they have the Hong Kong Railway Vision texture on them. So from what Navi told me, this APM just goes through the different islands and connects them together. So these are supposed to be like outlying islands where people can like camp for the weekend. So let's check these out. Okay, I'm back on the APM. I actually want to show you Hang Fan Liu Station because I think there's some interesting things that Navi has put there. So I won't tell you what that is now, yet, and it will probably tie the episode back to the main theme of the season. <laughs> Hopefully that gives you a hint. I just noticed that these APMs are right hand running. I don't know why. 
All right, here we are. I think this APM is supposed to be free. That's why whenever, that's why we have to enter the entry gates here. This is a really long escalator. I should have taken the lift. <laughs> that's not too bad. Okay, so we are at the Callus Express. This way goes to Epping. Central Line Overground Effort Express. That is also a new area that I have yet to check out, but I don't think it's done yet. And this, yeah, this is the APN. This side goes to Yanjiang Mineshaft. Wow. So the Callus Express comes from Yanjiang Mineshaft, goes to Eden and Callus. I remember back in the day when it only went to Callus. And now it goes to my resort. Oh, I should probably build more in my resort. Wait, I just saw something. These <laughs> textured lines. Anyway, Jonathan's resort and then now to Hangfan Liu and Epping. I'm not gonna go on this line right now because I'm going to go up. It's kind of weird how you're forced to come through the paid area even if you just want to exit maybe navi you can think about that again <laughs> or maybe that's intentional i don't know tall tree forest and airport all right this is what i wanted to show you all about so this lift probably goes to the subway to get to the airport i have no idea where this line goes to so We'll see. Oh, the station and the subway goes to the airport. Oh, this lift comes right out to the airplane platform. And I guess there's no service here, is there? Are the planes not moving? I thought I saw more planes here before. So that's passenger subway just comes to here. <laughs> Looks like these planes are stuck. Are they trying to take off or are they trying to come back around? And why is this being jammed? Are there signals here? There are no signals here. I don't know what those planes are doing. Okay, so this is Hangfan Liu Station. I think this would be an appropriate place to end the episode because this is an airport and has more progress than Isaac's airport. <laughs> Even though there's no line running here yet. So, thank you all for watching this episode of the Let's Play series. Again, if you want to tell me what to do next, Please let me know in the comments and I'll and I might do that in the next episode. So if you want to me to build a new line, build on my resort, stuff like that, please let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. And stay tuned for the next episode and videos. I might release a tutorial soon and an update to the mod, so please stay tuned. Happy Lunar New Year again. Hope you all have good health, and if you're in school, hope that you all excel in school as well. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!